Hi, my name is Anthony Casanuovo, and I'm a lawyer at Ely Associates. Today we're going to talk about the second E of the three E's of litigation, evidence. Now what is evidence? Simply put, it's what you're going to be showing a judge when you go to court for the relief that you're seeking. Evidence can be anything. Pictures, letters, emails, reports, something can, that can help establish the evidentiary record for a judge to make a decision. Once you determine what the evidence is, the next part is how it's going to be presented. In a court proceeding, there are typically two ways evidence can be displayed. By affidavit or from oral evidence. Then you need to determine who's going to be giving the evidence. Is it going to be a property manager or a director of the condominium corporation? Who's going to give evidence about what the community rules are? How the condos approach the problem? And specific incidents about the conduct and why it violates the rules. You might get affidavits or statements from unit owners who explain their interactions with the person who is perpetuating the violation of the community rules or how it detrimentally affects their own use and enjoyment of property. If it is a technical issue, you might need to get a report or an affidavit from an engineer or a contractor explaining how it may affect the structural integrity of the common elements or the work needed to remove the unauthorized alteration. Every case is dependent on the facts so that they really dictate who and what needs to be before a judge. But essentially, a condominium corporation always needs to establish what are the dates and conduct in question, what are the community rules, and how the conduct in question breaks them. Once you can establish all that, you've essentially set the, fa the factual background for a judge to make a decision. This then leads into the third and final E of the three E's of litigation, execution. For more information on this topic and others, please visit the reading room at condocentric.ca.